Two at six, fighting to preserve history in the shadows of a sanctuary. Key parts of Charlotte's past are hidden among the rows and rows of moss-covered headstones at Steel Creek Presbyterian Church, some dating back to the 1700s. 13 veterans of the Revolutionary War are buried here along with relatives of Reverend Billy Graham. Now, family, family members spanning seven generations have laid their loved ones to rest here, and now a group is funding to make sure that one of Mecklenburg County's original churches isn't reduced to a pile of rubble. Fox 46's Brett Baldeck live from Steel Creek Road with why Charlotte Airport is looking for help on what to do with this church, Brett. Brian, you, we know that when you go uptown, it's almost a race to build the newest and brightest and tallest tower. But here in West Charlotte, the city of Charlotte is still focused on some of these older buildings, including ways to save this church that dates back to the 1700s. You may drive down Steel Creek Road and never see it. The Steel Creek Presbyterian Church is among the oldest in Mecklenburg County, dating back to 1764. It's actually a very dramatic setting and continues to retain that drama. But the area has changed. Today, a locked fence surrounds the historic church, and the only people here are those tending to the lawn. The Charlotte Douglas Airport purchased the church in March of last year as the airport's foot print continues to expand. The challenge is that the operation of the airport uh, is can be, you know, something that's going to be difficult to overcome. The city of Charlotte still sees a use for this old church while also preserving the history that surrounds it. Right now, they're asking for ideas from the private sector for redevelopment. Obviously, by its physical nature, it's a, a, an assembly space. The city has had some success with saving historic buildings in the past. An old textile mill in Optimist Park is now Optimist Hall. And the Ford Motor Company assembly plant from 1924 is now part of Camp North End. You know, we're not here to save everything and get in the way of all development. We're here to figure out the, the balance between uh, that tangible connection to the past. Now, the period to submit those ideas to the city runs through December 15th. Then the city will review them, and if any of those ideas are feasible, they will reach out to a developer for a formal proposal. For now, reporting live in West Charlotte, Brett Baldeck, Fox 46.